Now, obviously, you know, there's, there's no big secret. There are, are, are outlines that are available commercially. There are outlines, outlines you can probably find on the Internet. But the, the thing that you have to understand about the outline is this, and, th and this is a very important point. The outline is part of your own personal effort. The essence of the outline, the reason outlines are so critical for each individual student is because each individual student customizes the outline alone. It's your, it's, it's your work. And as you are creating the outline, you are also creating a synthesis in your head of what the law is about, and you're creating a synthesis on paper of how you have learned the subject matter. So that's one of the main reasons is why outlines are so important because it's a, it's a device by which you, the student, are able to correlate all the things you've learned uh, as you are learning and going through the process of learning it. Next question, what are the source materials that are used to create an outline? Okay, that's a very good question. First, you start off with your, your classroom notes. And one of the things you may find is a very useful tool. This may sound strange to you, but pay attention. Outline your notebook. Huh? Outline your notebook. Your courses, each one of your courses, will follow a pattern. And that pattern very often will follow the table of contents from your casebook. Whatever course materials, materials you, you use, your professor is going to dictate the flow of the course. And you will be taking notes every single day. You will be taking copious notes every single day. So what, is, what makes the most sense is outline your notes. Create an outline in your notebook. Okay? And that way you will have a, a working knowledge. You, you have a, 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 a working knowledge of, of how the course is set forth. And then the next thing you can do is, as I mentioned a moment ago, use the casebook table of contents. Because very often that's, that's going to be the, the, the pattern by which you're, you're going through the course. And you can find that the table of contents can be very helpful. It's not, in most cases, the table of contents of your casebook is, is, is not going to be precisely the overview of the law that it should be, that, 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 that you would have for your own outline. So the, the uh, table of contents is something that you can use as a tool, as one of many other elements to include in your own outline. Your case briefs. You're going to be briefing cases every night every, anyway, and one of the important things for you to do is to transfer the information from your case briefs onto your outline, and your outline will expand accordingly. I mean, the, the, the whole point of all of the work that you're going to be doing in your first year of law school is to create something that will help you to retain all the information that you will need to score well on your exams. Hornbook notes, okay? You will have notes that you will be drafting while you're studying. You'll have classroom notes that you'll be taking during class and also while you're studying, you will have notes that very often will come from your horn book. Include those notes in your outline because those notes will be very valuable. And commercial outline notes. Now, as we said before, the, you know, the commercial outlines are out there. They're, you know, they, they've been around for a long time. Uh, they're very helpful. Uh, they're not as detailed as the horn book. They are not as analytical as the casebook, but they're very important nevertheless. And uh, it is very, very advisable that you use the commercial outlines as a general way to get an overview of your course.